All right, guys, we are just about finished here with the plowing. Got this last pass here and then one little patch. All right. Okay, so I um, still have the mulcher, the forestry mulcher, because I'm debating whether or not I want to clear a little bit of brush. And let's see, we have... Could eat that tree there. Well, it's not really causing any trouble, though. Hey, you missed some stones, dude. That tree's kind of sticking out quite a bit, but again, I don't think it'll be a problem. There's more a couple of bushes here that were overlapping the field. And possibly these trees. I'm like right up against the edge of the field do their branches block the tractor no they don't seem to okay well then they can stay but let's see if we can get rid of this shrub shrubbery I'd like to see if I can do it without dropping the hello without dropping the mulcher uh, so I don't, you know, dig up the ground. We'll let this guy get turned around here first. I wonder if I should just clear all these trees. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Especially for workers. Yeah, maybe I will. Let's also fix this since we're here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to clear all of this. Isn't it clearing that brush? Oh, I know why. Because it's yeah, because it's in the out of bounds area. Okay, well, the brush isn't really a problem because you can still drive through it. It's mostly the trees that I want to get out of there if I can. Okay, that should fix all of that. It created a few more stones, but I'll pick those up later. Now we want to go back over here and then just fix up the ground that we cho chewed up. So we're going to landscaping and painting and grass. Oh, 
Oh. That gets rid of the bushes. Oh, look at that. Is that a stump or just a piece of wood? So you can get rid of shrubs by just paint. Oh, man, we're out of money. <laughs> Crap. Uh, by just painting with grass. That's interesting. It's good to know, too. Okay, so we are... I think we're finished with the mulcher. I do have one log that's been sitting in the ditch over here literally for years, in-game years. Yeah, I ran out of money. Here, let's just uh let's just do this. Oh, we'll borrow another five thousand bucks so we can because I, I want the workers to keep helping here. Oh, you're 97% full. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to drop this off. Okay. He's, kinda, he's a little bit front heavy, but let's send you over to set destination. I think this is the... I think that's the stone drop-off place. Pretty sure it is, anyway. So just go here. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. <laughs> okay, we'll see if the worker can get over <laughs> get over there or not. <laughs> Yeah, we need to. Re we really need to have a rear weight on the back of the tractor. Um, you know when that's happening. Okay. Anyway, I have a. Yeah, I got this log that's been sitting down here for a million years. And uh, let's throw it off in the field so I don't tear up the ground. And we'll just chop it up. Yeah, I know I could get a little money from it, but I want to emphasize little. So not worth messing with. Okay, I think that... Nope, there's still a couple pieces there. Okay, I got that one. And that one. Okay, so we are finished with the mulcher. So let's return this. Should probably just buy that. Um, I mean, I don't use it that often, but it's not that expensive either. We may do that at some point. It's not a super high priority right at the moment. Okay, let's uh, go to here. $156, make it holla. Okay, we'll get this guy back on, on track on the field, and then we'll go get the stone picker on the New Holland and start picking up stones on the other new field that we created while this guy's finishing up the, the bigger one. So our worker stuck, or is he just turning around? Oh, it looks like he's, he was just turning around. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to uh, clear the stones off of 
this field here. And then when we're finished with that, the next step's going to be probably to lime. We don't need to cultivate because we have a direct drill um, seeder. So liming, fertilizing, seeding, and rolling after the stones are done. That's what's coming up. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I am back. And um, first thing you might notice is that the format of the video is back to 1440 instead of the ultra wide. And that is because, unfortunately, my ultra wide screen has um, some issues. So I had to send it into Samsung. It is under warranty, and hopefully they'll get that fixed and get it back to me as soon as possible. But in the meantime, uh, we're back to the full screen 1440 format. So we don't quite have the width that we had before, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So we'll make the best of it. Okay, so let's see. We got all the fields, uh, all the stones pick, uh, picked up off the field. And so if we look at this, uh, the next thing I want to do is spread some lime. Now, we don't have we don't have to lime this entire field. Well, you know what? Maybe we will anyway just do it. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but where you see this light green color is where we have to lime. So basically that strip, um, this border here that we added, and most of this stuff here. And then after that's done, we got to do some fertilizer. So we'll probably just do some granular fertilizer, um, get that done, and then seed, and then roll. So that is what is coming up next. Now, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the shop here. And I have a mod, and I think I've probably already showed this to you guys, uh, but I did install a mod. It's a Kuhn uh, rear mount spreader right here. And if we add the 3200 extension to it, uh, then it has 3200 liters. And this guy can do both lime and fertilizer. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and just actually buy this when um, when I can. Uh, it's twenty thousand dollars to buy it with that, you know, with this extension. You can also get it with mud guards, which is probably just a, you know, just an aesthetic thing because that doesn't really matter to us. Uh, you can also get a trailer hitch on it for another eight hundred bucks. Uh, so yeah, the trailer hitch is down there, but I, I don't think we need that. You could get a cover for five hundred bucks, but again, just don't really need it. And then it's also got these transport wheels, which is again, what's the point in that? Because you mount this on the back of a tractor and then the tractor carries it around. So I don't, I, I don't even know what those are for, but anyway, uh, this is the configuration that we will purchase later on. But for now we're going to have to lease it because our money is just not so good right at the moment, uh, but that's a very temporary thing. So we can lease it for a thousand bucks. Let's go ahead and do that. And, um, it's right here. Cool. Okay. So yeah, this is uh this does both lime and fertilizer so what we'll probably end up doing is just selling our amazon spreader there and buying this when i can afford to do so but i can't afford to do that right at the moment okay so let's jump on into the tractor here and uh we'll start up the engine Whoop. i think i'm gonna pretty much just do stuff in third person for now um, because my monitor situation changed, so did my head tracking camera. It's, you know, kind of a weird spot. And, um, I'm not really going to worry too much about that until I get the main monitor back so I can set it back up the way it's supposed to be. Um, whoa. What is going on with the steering here? Ah. The steering reset to the wrong setting there. There we go. That's better. I have a pretty, you know, decent Thrustmaster wheel, and it can rotate up to 900 degrees, and it's like, I'm not sure when you would want that much rotation in a wheel. I uh, definitely don't want it in the farming game, that's for sure. Uh, or farming simulator, I should say. All right, now, I have some lime that's been sitting in the barn for a long time, because it's been a long time since I've done a field expansion and it looks like we have at least one full pallet and then a partial because otherwise I wouldn't have two in there so can we just back up to there and then fill it up <laughs> yep good enough and this might be enough to do everything we need to do or might not we'll find out fortunately lime's not too terribly expensive though We 
actually want to go back over this way. Turn our lights on. Well, hello, dear. Okay, so we just want the smallest width for here. I can't make it any smaller than that, so it's the best we can do. Get this little strip done, and then we'll go hit the other parts. Oh, no, don't drive in your field. God, God and I forgot all about that. <laughs> Shoot. Uh. All right, well, this is what it is. Is what it is. Not really going to take a whole lot away, but still it sucks, you know. It does suck. Okay, we are going to go up this way. Let me look at the map again. Uh, yeah, we're right about in the center there, so that should be good. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, we're not going to have enough to do everything, so we'll have to get more, but that's alright. Like I said, it's not that expensive. And then we're also going to have a strip down through here. Just a little skinny strip. But we'll do it. Okay. Let's head back to the farm and get ourselves some more lime. All right, let's see where we are here. So we still have a little bit uh, of area there and a little piece there that we have to do. Everything else is looking good. Okay. I'm just going to go right down this little strip here. And that should do it. Okay. Liming is done. Now, the next thing we want to do is we need to fertilize. This already has one application of fertilizer on it. Uh, but this has no applications of fertilizer. Uh, or neither does this little strip here. Okay. So let's go back and load up on some fert and come out and get that taken care of. I wish I had enough manure to use manure, but I don't at present. So we're just gonna have to keep using granular, but pretty soon we will. Cause you know, we're gonna, we're gonna fill the greenhouses up with manure. We already have almost half of them done already. Then we'll fill the other half up and then we'll start accumulating it and we will be able to use it later on in the future for fertilization. Okay, let's load up on some furt. Guess we might as we can just do that. Drive in where we have already driven in. Okay, so if we the, where the grass was for the most part, anyways, is already fertilized with one application, so we should be able to double up on that. But we'll only be able to do a single on this for now. 
Okay, so let's get right about here-ish. And we want to go full, full throttle here. Okay, let's do it. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We could have, uh, <clears throat> our cedars also have fertilizer bins. <coughs> we could have done it then. Oh, well, not a big deal. And then uh, we're probably going to have to do this little strip here. Let's look at the map again. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to do this strip here. And it did give us double fertilization on the border for the most part, which is what we wanted to see. Okay, so this we should be able to go down back to the narrowest setting. Okay, that should get us all fertilized here. I'll do another application uh, later after I, I plant the grass for, for this little section here. Um, and this is already fertilized over here. Well, we, we have a couple of spots right along here that we could probably hit. Yeah, okay, let's, let's just go hit that real quick. Uh, we're going to want this down to the narrow setting. We shouldn't need to do this section here. No, we don't, because it was already double fertilized before we even plowed it. So it's good. So I think we just need to run up along here and around the corner, essentially. And then there's a little bit of a spot there, too, we could hit. Um, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that border. It's just, I mean, it'll eventually, once we do our first grass cutting and then roll it, it'll be, you know, fine anyways. So it's just not going to make that much difference, but we will hit this little spot over here. Yeah, so just basically right through here. Looks like we might have one little tiny spot there that we didn't plow, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, very good. So we have all the fertilization done for now. Like I said, once we plant the grass uh, and it and it grows, uh, it germinates, at least it germinates. Or, you know, we just have to wait for it to go through one stage. Then I'll come back along and refertilize these light blue areas one more time too. And that's the last time we'll have to use actual you know fertilizer on it because after that we just roll it uh, to get our two stages you know once the grass comes in which is a pretty nice deal okay so planting is next let's go drop this fertilizer back off into our silo and we'll pull our planters out and we'll get some grass going so i pulled all three of my uh cedars out but i think i might not use all three of them at least not yet let's just use one until we can kind of get you know the borders and the tighter spots taken care of and then i might hook up the other ones after that so we'll take this one over to our seed silo and load it up we 
One thing you do have to be careful about with these planters is you have to make sure they're all set to the right um, seed type. And if you're not paying attention, it's easy to kind of screw that up. Uh, all right, let's see. Open cover and start filling. That was fast. Okay, currently it's set to soybeans, and I think that's because... No, I'm not going to put fertilizer in there. Actually, though... I wonder, can we do a double application right now? It might be worth looking at. Yeah, let's, let's actually see if we can do that. So let's go here. Load that up. So this little strip right here should be, yeah, it's only single application, the light blue. Okay, so let's change our seed type to grass. Whoops, I just had it there. There we go. All right, and then um, let's just see what happens here. It is using the fertilizer. Okay, let's look at the map. Well, I can't I can't actually tell because now it wants me to roll it. All right, but we can do that, actually. We'll get the, the roller out uh, and put it on the McCormick and roll that strip and just see if it actually worked. Okay, let's look. No, it didn't. It didn't do it. Okay, so I think we need, we're going to have to wait for the seed to germinate before we can do the second application of fertilizer. Okay, I'm glad I checked because otherwise we would have done all of this field and it would have been all for naught. And that would not have been fun. Okay, so let's see. That means... Did we lift that up? Yeah. We're going to need this anyway, so we're just going to park the McCormick... Uh, we'll just park it right here for now because we'll need it once we get everything else done. And let's jump back in the New Holland. And we have to get rid of that fertilizer that's in there. Okay, let's turn the worker loose. We have 86% seed in there, so I don't know if it'll last for the whole field. Yeah, it probably will, actually. Maybe. It'll be close. Uh, but we'll let them do their thing, and we will hop in the McCormick. And I want to... I'm just going to drop this off here for now. And we'll go get another seeder and start working on the other portion.
All right, that uh, wraps up the seating. Let's just double check the map and make sure everything shows as seated. There's a little spot right up there. Yeah, it looks like a little tiny spot was missed up there. I don't know what that little blip is, but honestly, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so let's go look at that real quick. And then the last task is to roll. Oh, yeah, is that this spot right here? Oh, the worker. Yeah, the worker missed it. Gotcha. Okay. All right, now let's look at it. Yeah, everything. There's a little tiny strip right there that I missed. Let's go hit that right in through there. Yeah, I can actually, I think I can see the spot there. I think it's right there. Okay, now let's look at it. Yep, that's good. Perfect. Okay, so we got we got our grass planted. This field's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to do because it's so irregular, but <laughs> it's all right. It's going to bring it bring us in some some grass or bring us in some grass. We're going to bring us in some money uh regardless. Uh and again, this is temporary. Eventually this whole area will well, maybe not this little front section, but this area is I'm planning on um, you know, having that whole thing be for animals. All right, very good. Last task is to roll. So we will get, let me get these cedars put away and get the worker, a worker going on rolling this field while I get the other one going. Actually, you know what I could do is, let's just drop this here. And I'll come and get it in the New Holland so I can get a worker started right now with rolling. I better do the headland first. Okay, let's set the worker loose. Uh, no, let's set the worker loose. Oh, he doesn't want to do it. Okay, maybe it's because we're not over the original field? Okay, well, I guess um I guess I'm going to have to do this myself. So let's get to it. All right, guys, we are just about finished with the rolling. And it's getting dark, too. This is probably as late as I've worked for quite some time in this game. Um, so, I, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up March 1st. Tomorrow on the 2nd, I am going to need to get some fertilizer in the greenhouses. Uh, here, let's check our map here. Make sure this is fully rolled. Uh, looks like it is. Maybe with the exception of one little tiny spot there, which I'm not going to worry about. Um, so I went ahead to off camera and and plowed this little section here too. And I seeded it and I rolled it. Uh, but it still needs lime, but I don't want to rent the lime spreader again just for that little spot. So I might hit it at some point in the future, or I might not. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but anyway, we uh, I think we're done uh, for today. So we'll roll over to March the 2nd in the next episode, and we'll get the... Uh, we'll get the greenhouses fertilized. Hopefully we'll have enough manure to, to do at least one more. And then uh, that'll probably be it for March. And then we're going to roll on over into April. And then we'll have the first, first, yeah, the first computer farmer um, hay cutting. And that'll bring us in some cash uh, so I can get that loan taken care of. Where are we at with that loan? It's not terrible, but yeah, $25,000. So we'll get that loan taken care of and then we'll have some extra cash on hand for other things. I do want to get a shed uh, to put over there 
where the Brantner trailer currently is. So that'll that'll be coming up. We'll, hopefully, we'll be able to do that in uh, April, and then go from there. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.